Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on a mix. I'm going to be joining VNA's um, glitter swap that she's doing. I'll put the link down below in my description box if you guys are interested in joining that. That way you have all the information. I'm not sure how much longer she's allowing the signups, but anyways, we're going to be working on that. I'm going to be making quite a bit because I like to have extra of whatever I make. This is going to be a black based mix. This is a tablespoon. But I also want it to glow in the dark because it's going to be kind of a nighttime inspired mix. So I thought it'd be cool if it glowed. So we're going to do one tablespoon. I'm also going to be using this fine black glitter. And this is one teaspoon in the baggie. Next I'm going to start bringing in some chunkier glitters. I'm going to be using this holographic black glitter, which I absolutely love, from Recollections. You can purchase Recollections at Michael's. I'm going to be doing one tablespoon. I'm also going to be bringing in some just regular black chunky mix, and this is from Recollections as well. It's in the color Ebony. And I'm going to be doing half a tablespoon of that. I'm also going to be bringing in some tinsel in ebony, also recollections. And I'm going to be doing half a tablespoon of that. So now we're going to start bringing in some texture in different colors. So I have a fourth of a teaspoon here. I'm going to be bringing in this really bright yellow. I'm also going to be bringing in this bright pink. Same measurement, quarter of a teaspoon and this bright orange. I'm also going to be bringing in these stars and moons. This is a mix. I got this from Johanna. And I'm going to be doing one teaspoon. Actually, I think I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of that. Kinda of see where it's at. Sorry, kind of hard to get in there. Next, I want to bring in some iridescent. So I'm going to be using these stars. These are Martha Stewart. And I'm going to be doing quarter teaspoons of each of those. And I might end up adding more depending once I mix it up where it's at. And this one's in winter mint, and this one is sugar plum. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that up and kind of see where I'm at. So I want more of the black. I'm going to go ahead and do another tablespoon of the black holographic. And I'm also going to do a half a tablespoon of the glow in the dark. I want those neon glitters to be more sporadic. Okay guys, so here's the mix swatched. So it looks bumpy because I just used gel polish to do the swatch real quick. I didn't bother sanding it down or buffing it out or anything. I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like swatched. As you can see, the glow in the dark glitter, it just kind of disappears, even though when it, you look at it raw, you can see it in there. But once you swatch it or put it into acrylic or whatever, you can't see it anymore other than it glows in the dark. So I really like using that. Just to show you guys real quick what I'm sending along with the glitter mix. So that's what it looks like bag beat up. Sorry about the glare. 
Each person will also be getting some silver tinsel, some rhinestones, and these are black AB and then silver crystals. And then they'll also be getting some holographic silver dots, and these ones are really holographic. So silver hexes, I meant to say, sorry. And then that'll all go into a bigger bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this glitter mix. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.